عادل فروم انديا السلام عليكم الشيك عليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته شيك از بير مان نوليدج اي نو اتس ان اوثنتيك سو نو بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم ذات ريزنج ذا هاندز ان سلا اند ان هير ان انديا واي وين اي اسك ذا لايك اولدر بيبل دي سي at the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the and the people of at that time used to carry the idols the photos in their under arms and so that's the reason prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has ordered to raise the hands is it a true shake or shake no this is only said by yani ignorant imbeciles regardless of their age in your country this is excuse my french stupid now imagine the companions carrying idols under their armpit and the prophet orders them to say allahu akbar so it would fall down okay i understand this and then they're going to pick it up after every raka and do this and the prophet would order them to raise their hands hey, give me a break this is totally bogus illogical even fools don't say this imagine let us assume it's true okay then the prophet told them okay stop now you're muslims there's no need because you don't carry any idols under your armpit so why do we when we come in prayer in the beginning till they say allahu akbar according to their logic we shouldn't do this because we don't have any idols this is totally ridiculous and this is the uh, um the result of being a blind follower of a particular madhab you have the audacity you have the shame to discredit and to reject the hadith authentic hadith in bukhari where the prophet used to raise his hands and say no 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 this is because of idols How, what what kind of islam do these people have i don't know to honor their school of thought and their imam they're willing to discredit disregard ignore fabricate the authentic hadith of the prophet alayhi wasallam they're not pro- following the sunnah unfortunately